Okay, so I got another video for you guys today, and this is about hypnotized. Hypnotized. What is hypnotized? Hypnotized are those that are on TikTok all day long. They're mesmerized. See, let's break down what TikTok really is. Tick, top, tick, top. It's in reference of time passing by. When you're on TikTok all day long, it is the same thing repeated. It's worldly trends, people acting a fool, adults acting like children, grown-ups acting like they're grown, mockery of Christ. And then you got people making videos in reference of these demon tale, demonized songs that are out today. This rap stuff and so forth. And then, you know, just uh, things is just basically managed. Things is just basically that's just not in cahoots with what we live by, which is supposed to be by the word of God and by the Holy Spirit, right? But see, this is, has happened because TikTok, what they do is, see, it's a mesmerizing thing. Have you ever noticed when somebody's on there, they're on there all day long and they get caught up into the trends that is going on. And if you ever read the caption, it said, oh, I have to jump on this trend, you know? And then if you notice, you know, if you ask them why they on TikTok, they say they're having fun. How is it that you're having fun for one minute? So you're basically saying that I'm going to do a trend. Let's set this up. Let's get the music. Okay, let's try this. Let's flip her over or let's do this or let's try to do this dance and, you know, just to try to make it perfect just for the fact of trying to entertain somebody for the fact of trying to make money at the same token because that's what it's all about. It's all about proper popularity and people will do anything today and they will just basically degrade themselves all for the mesmerizing of people's eyes to be able to see. But I, I have scripture that's going to align into what I'm, what I'm speaking of. Because see, if you go to Galatians 5, 16, it says, Bible, and it says, So I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of sin sinful natures. So let's break that down really quick. So Live by the Spirit as we should, and you will not gratify the desires of sinful nature. So if you're living by the Spirit, then no sinful nature will be upon you. So you got all these Christians and you got all these pastors that are doing these worldly trends. But see, here's the thing. Although they're trying to make it into as they're doing something uh, Christian and biblical, but how when you're using these rap um, rap songs of people of the world? Why are you doing these same repeated things that the world is doing? See, because it is a sinful nature that is in you because the Holy Spirit is not truly in you or you will recognize the patterns of this world. You will recognize what TikTok is really for. TikTok, TikTok. Talk, tick tock. It is a hypnotizing thing because now it has you stuck, and now you're just you're just pouring out all your time, right? And nothing being accomplished because all your time is just on this app because you're trying to figure out uh, who got the popular trend so you can repeat it and see will you go viral. And when you on there and you're just browsing and scrolling all day long, all day long, all day long, all day long until you know that it's nighttime, and then you're still on there all day long and probably half of you when you get off you you walk around singing these songs and doing these things because it's still stuck in your mind but let's go further hallelujah watch this for the sinful nature watch this what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature they are in conflict with each other see it is in conflict when you're doing things that is of the world so when you're on tiktok acting a fool participating in worldly trend it is conflicting with your spirit and i'm talking about christians because a lot of christians that are on there and then they're mimicking what the world is doing because now they're trying to place the word of god into something that is uh worldly based hallelujah watch this i'm preaching i'm gonna i'm gonna try to they are in conflict with each other so that you do not do what you want, but if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under law. So if you're led by the Spirit, that you're, you're not under their law. So if you're led by the Spirit, then you'll recognize the things that they're doing that is worldly. If you are led by the Spirit, you won't have partake in the things that is happening on that app. TikTok is a demonic app. You know, all these apps basically are because who are the owners of these apps? And if you look up who the owner of these apps, then you will see what they stand for. So these are things that you got to watch. You got to remember before these apps come out, you know, these apps are being blessed by the devil. And that's why these apps are so successful because they sold, they sold to the devil just like these rappers, celebrities, and everybody else. But here's the thing I want to show you. TikTok, man, let's go 
now let's go back to TikTok. Now, TikTok is for purpose and why it's TikTok because it wastes time. What it is, is it's hypnotizing you because now you become hypnotized and now you become stuck and you're like this. Um, you know, it's like this, TikTok. And your eyes go like this, and they do it, and then you get you go into a trance, and you get stuck into that. That now, hallelujah, and now you're stuck at it all day long, and you can't move because now it has you driven into doing what it's doing, and you're doing it all day long. Then when you get off, your whole time is wasted into doing a TikTok so you can post it, so hopefully that you can go viral. But you need to go viral in your Holy Spirit, meaning that these Christians that partaking in this hypnotizing app. That you have to understand that the things are what they're doing. But see, here's the thing. And if you notice, the lukewarm Christians on there, they are high in views. But when you got somebody that is really spreading the word of God, watch this, they either get censored, they get banned, or they get a lot of community guidelines. Why? For spreading and, and for preaching the word of God in a way that it doesn't align into what the world is doing. Because see, you have to remember, these, these apps love lukewarm Christians because why? They're still partaking in the thing that their algorithm is trying to place and push out. So again... Remember, when your child, when yourself, when you're on TikTok, just notice how long they on it and load it and load it. No, notice, excuse me, tongue twisted. Notice how long you on it. Then start looking at what these Christians and pastors doing. It's a pastor on there called Bishop Otis. Full of the devil. All he does is every, every single TikTok trend there is. He had a trend where his wife... Was doing was stripping stripping and doing a nasty dance, and then he walks in the room and then she acts like she's praying. They had to orchestrate that. But why, hallelujah, why put yourself in a sinful nature of mimicking anything that has to do with anything that is sinful if you know from your mind? And you have so many pastors that are doing it, so many Christians that are doing it, but I want you to know they're doing it because they have been hypnotized. They have been diagnosed with time losing because they're losing time because of tick, top, tick, top, tick, top. That's exactly how it is. And that's exactly how they are because they become zombinized. Hallelujah. Because now they're like zombies, you know. They, you know, they wake up and have to turn it on. They go to bed, uh, you know, thinking of it. Waking up and hurrying up and can't do it. And then now you got so many uh, uh, relationships, uh, um, couples. And, you know, he got a, he, she now got her wife, his wife. He, she got her uh, husband looking like a fool. Now he dressed up like a woman. But she think it's okay because it's all for TikTok. Then you got a grown woman. Uh, let's just say some Christians. On there, acting like they're doing something sexual. But why when you are a Christian? Why, why mimic these things? Why be scoop, scoop that low? Why a lot of these men are dressing up just to, and if you ask me, this really in their heart anyway. Who wants to dress up just, you know, if you're going to dress up just to be on camera, then you might as well go full force and just might as well just call yourself a trainee. Why you want to put on a dress and a wig and makeup just to make a point so your video can go viral? That's because they have, they have become mesmerized and now they've been hypnotized by TikTok and now that they're doing this they're degrading themselves and now that they're losing time right because they had to rehearse this right to get on here to make it right so obviously they had to and half of them probably went out to go buy these clothes and wigs and stuff it's no telling if they still wearing it all outside uh, of TikTok or even just wearing it or they probably on some dating app you know see how far they can go thinking they looking good Looking like a cow in a wood in, in, in a wig. Come on now. So again, we have to realize what is all this it stems from and where it comes from. Because if you don't know, you get yourself caught up and you get yourself mesmerized by what other people do, and then you become hip, hypnotized that now you are losing time because of TikTok. And this is what you got to understand and have to see. So I hope that this fed you enough so you can realize and understand what you're seeing so now you won't get yourself caught up in it. I love you all. God bless you, and I'll see you guys soon.